Hi guys, my name is Tiffany and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a clothes haul video, like a op shop haul. I really, really love going to op shops. I just love one, snagging a bargain and two, finding something that like fits and there's only one of it in the store. So my habit at the moment is I spend about $150 per trip and so this trip was not any different. I thought it was because I went to Vinnie's and I was so selective like they had a lot of stuff that I was like I really 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 vibe this. I probably spent like I don't know two hours there like it was intense I tried on everything but then I was walking to the bus and I passed the Australian Red Crush shop and I was like I need to go in there. Today I am wearing a dress which I bought from Lifeline and I am wearing my vintage jacket from London. The shop was called Beyond Retro and it's really funny, I was in the store, so like I've been to London a few times, this was like my third time going to the store and I bumped into like this guy who used to go to my school but was younger than me but he was also in London and we were in the same shop at the same time, like it was crazy anyway i'm getting off topic so let us begin let me first show you my vinnie's stuff it's come in a plastic bag which is fine i guess i mean they didn't manufacture the plastic bag so i guess it's just being reused um so i bought two things from vinnie's the first one is this skirt it is from Beck and Bridge. I'm hoping that it is acceptable to wear to work. It's pretty much in really good condition, but it's like hopefully not too noticeable. Maybe I'll just kind of sew it myself. And again, it's another kind of work clothes vibe thing, but colourful. Um, this one's from Country Road. Yeah, I didn't find any faults with this one. I was kind of reluctant at first because I was like, oh, it looks old. Like, I'm like an old person, but then I was like, I'm a teacher, so therefore I must look old. Older, older, more mature, not old. Then I went to Red Cross. It gave me a very nice bag. I bought this dress, which actually looks a lot like my lifeline dress. But it's blue, so it's different. Also, it's got like a flat top, so it's so totally different. It's from a brand called Sibel, which I had a quick Google and it's a Kiwi brand, so I was like, that's kind of nice. Buying from neighbours, supporting neighbours. Yeah, so this is my Laura Ashley cardigan, and I could not say no to it. It's slightly too big. But I was like, look, I just want to button it up. But they have beautiful flowers on them, which I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot say no. Um, my only thing is that a couple of the flowers are missing. I do have cardigans and I tend to kind of get in trouble for my mom for not wearing them. Finally, this was a really, probably really bad impulse buy. But as I was paying, I saw this and I was like, I really like the colors of the legs, so I'm really going to get it. This is it. This was what I bought. And this one was quite expensive. Like I had just tried on all this stuff, like from Premonition, Zimmerman. It doesn't have any brand. And oh my gosh, I can see the screen that I'm filming on. My nose is quite small, so it actually doesn't quite fit. Um, they kind of ran out of cases. So they usually give cases with sunnies, but they ran out. And the guy was like, just come back sometime and I'll get it for you. But again, Paddington is so far, so I don't know when I'm going to go there. So I kind of regret it, but I'm going to use it, so I won't. So at Vinnie's, I spent $60, and then at the Red Cross, I spent $72. So altogether, that is $132, which means I'm still under my $150 budget but it doesn't mean that I can go and make another shopping trip because if I do I will probably get so tempted 
and then spend something way over budget. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you ever want to go up shopping, do check out Paddington, Vinnie's and Red Cross because they're both amazing. But yes, Paddington, good. Vinnie's, good. Red Cross, good. And I will catch you, not next month because I'm on holiday, but in January when I go up shopping.